Hello there, my name is Lewis, and I'm here to respond to some very heated and passionate discussion from the RSI forums regarding Star Citizen, more specifically control schemes in Star Citizen. Which is better, mouse control or keyboard control? And can the two be balanced against each other in a multiplayer game without giving certain users advantages over other users? For example, some people think that mice are more precise and that joystick users would be handicapped accordingly. Other people think that mice are less precise and that there would be some sort of aim assist or autofly. There's lots of comparisons to War Thunder and arcade mode. I really think that the community is getting worked up over a non-issue and hopefully this video will put at least some of that to rest. So we're gonna plug in the joystick first and let's get started. Okay we're hooked up with the joystick and as you can see it's a fairly precise method have all of your different rotational axes mapped to your pitch yaw and roll. Additionally this one particular joystick also has a hat switch on the throttle which I have mapped to my translational controls. Now in terms of flying this is going to be our baseline. Joysticks are the standard for flight sims. It's what most people who get into serious simming or eventually used to or get used to. So we'll just consider this to be the, uh, this will just be our control and all the other control schemes that we look at will be based off of that. You know, how do they compare to the joystick as a uh, good solid baseline? Now, I'm going to go ahead and unplug my joystick here. We'll show the different mouse control modes some of which are better than others for a space game, some of which are more balanced than others. And we'll get right back to it. Okay, we're well back. I've unplugged the joystick and gotten it out of the way. And we're going to look at some of the other mouse control schemes that X3 has to offer. Now, first up, we're going to go do classic flight mode. Now, this is... Uh, fairly old control scheme. This is what was used in X3 Reunion when the engine was first released. And you'll see that the mouse more or less follows the X and Y axes of the ship, or rather the ship follows the mouse very precisely. Pointing the crosshair is a lot like simply putting a cursor on a target. I'd say that this is the most precise flight mode, and in that sense it has an advantage over joysticks most certainly. This is a far more superior method to uh, put yourself onto a target and then track that target, no doubt about it. However, this does have some limitations. Now, first of all, let's say you have to put yourself into a long turn. Now, you'll notice that's all the room I have on my desk. I have to pick my mouse up, recenter it, pick my mouse up, center it, and so on and so forth. It makes it hard to track a target in a long turn or in a long series of maneuvers without having brief moments where you're essentially not controlling your ship at all because you have to pick your mouse up off the table and you're not providing any input. That's the downside to classic flight mode. Other than that, it's a very good, very precise. I'd almost say it would be overpowered compared to a joystick because of how easy it is to simply bounce from target to target to target to target flight mode, but you have your sensitivity set up properly. Now the next flight mode is what's known as mouse follow mode, and this is the mode that I think most closely approximates input from a joystick. You'll see that you have a cursor, and as you move that cursor off-center, it's similar to moving your joystick off-center. The further you move it, the faster the ship turns. Similar to a joystick, the further you push it over, the faster your ship's going to turn. And in this sense, this is the control scheme that I think is most well-balanced against joystick users. If you really wanted to have a multiplayer game and not give one side an advantage over another, this is the control scheme that I would use, or something similar to it. Because you don't have the uh, advantage of simply putting the mouse directly on the target and pulling the trigger. However, you also don't have the disadvantage of having to keep picking your mouse up and recentering it, so the joystick doesn't have the advantage in long turns, long turns rather, that it once had. 
Okay, so let's talk class 2 and class 4 mounts. As most of us here, I certainly hope most of us in the Star Citizen community know, ships like the Hornet have turrets and flexible gun mounts that supposedly track the target and help you lead it, and so on and so forth, give you a little bit of aim assist. Now, so long as joysticks and mice receive the same level of aim assist, I don't think, you know, judging by how closely they uh, approximate each other, that one would be imbalanced over the other. Now what would imbalance is if you had a separate cursor, or if you fired to the mouse cursor like this, so that would be incredibly imbalancing. But if you had a little hot zone around your reticle, and if you brought the uh, enemy ship into that, your tracking guns would try to stabilize onto it, give you a more stable firing platform. I can see that being both uh, helpful and fairly well balanced. You know, how accurate it would be would come down to how much of an advantage do you want class 2 weapons, but that turns into a more of a ship-to-ship -ship argument rather than a control scheme argument. Alright, I hope that clears up some of the very vitriolic discussions in the forum regarding uh, mouse control versus joystick control. Thank you for watching, and have a great night.